My parents put too much pressure on me when it comes to school and getting into university. And I don't know when I'll reach my breaking point, but I know it's coming soon. A lot of students, including myself, can relate to that feeling of burnout and pressure from external forces, especially parents and family. And I think when it comes to that, it's important to keep in mind what your capabilities are and what you are passionate about, because at the end of the day, it's your future that matters. And all you really need to consider is what you want to do and what makes you happy yourself. So please um, try and separate your parents' wants from your own and prioritize yourself over anyone else. My entire family is very religious, but I don't think I believe in the same things they do. Um, that's totally okay. I mean, I've gone through those periods of doubt with, with my own faith as well. Uh, religion is honestly, by definition, just something you believe in, like a system of, of beliefs that you follow. So if you don't necessarily, like if those beliefs don't necessarily align with what you believe personally and what you think is right, then I don't think that there's anything to be ashamed of it. I think it's good to question what you're, you know, what you're raised to believe. And if that ultimately doesn't align with your, you know, with your personal, uh, with your personal beliefs and, and what you think is right, then there's no shame in, there's no shame in, in questioning and, uh, and actually taking the time to think about what you believe in. I don't know how I can find motivation for anything recently. Getting dressed, getting to school, cleaning my room, doing anything work or school related all seems like impossible tasks. Um, I have to very much agree with this one. Sometimes things that other people may see as little, like brushing your teeth, brushing your hair, etc., can be really big things for some people. And the way that I am able to get through that is making to-do lists, which seems like a stupid little thing that a therapist would say, but making that to-do list and putting those little things that you can do is really important and it's really helpful to be able to cross that off and give yourself that little bit of love, that little bit of motivation. So just doing that is, is great. And just getting up every day is honestly an accomplishment. I feel ashamed for asking for help. There's always a voice in the back of my head telling me everyone will laugh at me for needing help. Not just with mental health, but anything in general, including schoolwork. Um, I feel like a lot of people experience this, that struggle asking for help and how difficult it is and uh, trying to overcome your pride and asking for help, but it's nothing to be ashamed of and it's completely normal. And it really means that at the end of the day, you're stronger asking for help than not and you'll become a better person at the end of the day. So please um, try your best to get over that and um, ask for help when you need it because it'll be the best thing for you to possibly do. A family member very close to my heart passed away not too long ago and everyone was devastated. I was too, of course. I loved her with my whole heart, but she was sick and suffering. So when I heard that she passed away overnight, there was a small part of me that felt relief. You know, the path to getting over that grief was not linear at all. And there were waves of, of uh, you know, almost acceptance and other times when the grief would just come straight back as if you had not processed anything. Um, I feel that like no matter what, you know, people are going to ask themselves this question. There were so many instances when people that in my family, whom I'm, I'm close to, were, were asking themselves questions like, could we have done something better? Or um, what kind of suffering does someone have to go through in order to, to um, you know, to ultimately die in, in such a, in such a tragic way and there's a part of me as well and I feel that this was a conversation that I've had with other family members as well that there is a little bit of relief that that person isn't going through their through that suffering anymore because ultimately our I think our tendency as people is to just sympathize with with others like no matter what their situation is and if their situation in their last days was uh filled with like grief and, and hardship, then I feel like that's only a natural reaction. So I don't think you should feel any guilt for that. It's completely normal. 
Sometimes I worry that there's nothing for me after high school. Well, it's not true. There's, there's a ton of things after high school. Um, before coming to high school, I bet you probably felt the same way. And you'll probably feel the same way every time you leave something that's been a huge part of your life, whether that's leaving home, a job, high school, university, middle school. But there's always something after you find. And it might take a long time, but I can guarantee there'll be something. And every time it gets better and better and better. So just keep, you know, positivity up and you'll be totally fine. Self-love seems like a scam. Everyone tells everyone to love themselves, but then they don't mean it when it comes to their own self. Um, I would have to personally relate with this one. Self-love is a lifelong, very treacherous journey of growth and discovery. And it is really hard when some people seem to be advocating for it on the surface, but you can't see it. But honestly, that could just be their own journey, their own things that they're going through. And to me, self-love is about what you can do for yourself. So just getting up every day is an achievement, is a moment of self-love. So keep just loving yourself and not not taking in what other people may be doing because in the end you you are your you are your main support you're your own cheerleader so keep being there for yourself i think i would have been better off raised by people other than my own parents uh, first of all your parents do raise you yes and other people play huge factors though your grandparents your aunts your uncles your cousins your friends your teachers but ultimately you decide the person you want to be You'll be given a thousand lessons from a thousand different people, but ultimately it's up to you with what you do with that. And I find that you're going to learn the most about yourself and who you want to be, not based off who you were raised by, but based off your failures and how you come and get back up after those. So stay true to yourself.